Alrighty, a little bit of a departure from the norm around here, uh, so I can review something uh, that I just got in the mail today. I'm very excited about. Uh, again, a little odd, just because you know you're used to the Transformers and the action figures and the other things around here. But this is neat for me on a lot of reasons. One, uh, well, first of all, I'll show, you, I'll show you what it is. It is the solid titanium pen and stylus uh, from Big Idea Design. Um, there's their website right there if you'd like to visit it, BigEyeDesign.com. I got this. This is my first Kickstarter reward, which is one of the reasons this is very special to me. Um, I've, I've funded a couple things through Kickstarter. Uh, I, I guess I did get the Remind digital version of the comic. I only chipped in like five bucks to support that, but they gave us all a digital copy of the comic, which was really nice of them. Um, but I also chipped in for some, like, some Iron Man-themed playing cards, which I uh, haven't shipped yet. But, um, but yeah, this came today in the mail, and uh, this was something like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a, of a pen, I don't want to say snob, but aficionado, like, I, 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 I've tried so many different pens to find that one that works, and I found a couple that work for me, but I always wanted to have, like, a nice design, like, a lot of times you buy a pen in the store, and they come in, you know, the cheap plastic retractable casing, and those are good, but I mean, like, you need to throw away all those plastic casings and such. Um, and I wanted just a pen that was my pen. And this looked really cool. So it's the solid titanium pen and stylus. Uh, it is made of solid titanium from tip to clip as they as they advertised it. The only bit that's not titanium is this little bit of rubber down here for the stylus tip. We'll go ahead and open this up. But it comes in this pick. And one of the things that's neat about it is the way they designed it to take this whole list right here. This is all the refills you can use. And that's just the ones they know about. Um, so there's all this stuff, extreme refill compatibility made from solid TA4 titanium, uh, titanium pocket clip, replaceable stylus tip, scratch-resistant coating, and a screw-on flat back plug. And that's all here in the box. Um, now, they had three. You could choose three different colors. This is the uh, just the bead-blasted aluminum. They also had a, uh, well, not aluminum because it's uh, titanium, but, like, this is just the, the, the bead-blasted uh, silver. They also had a... Um, like a solid polished chrome, which I just didn't want to risk it getting scratched up. I figured this, like, even if it takes a couple dings, you're not going to notice it so much with the bead-blasted uh, coating, which feels very nice uh, on this. Like, again, titanium from all the way down, with the exception of the stylus. And the stylus, uh, let me get this open here, uh, works just like any capacitive stylus. You can use it on your iPhone or your iPad. I would uh, show you on my iPhone, but I happen to be shooting this video with it. But, uh, but yeah, you can just use it as a stylus on anything you want. Um, oh, you don't want to see that. That's uh, but, uh, but, yeah, go into Chrome, open up the, the, uh, the Transformers Legends game. I've been playing that a lot lately. Um, but, yeah, so you can use it as a stylus um, if you want to. If you don't, um, if you'd rather just have it as a pen, it does come with here in the package, right down here in the corner, you can uh, simply unscrew this little stylus bit, and again, even that screw is titanium there on the stylus, which is kind of overkill, but nice, it kind of neat, um, and just screw in this little flat tip, just to have it as a regular pen. Now, you'll notice there are some threads down here, and that's because when you, you unscrew the cap up here, and it does have the nice little titanium uh, element symbol up here on the clip, you just unscrew it, uh, here's the pen, it's very nicely molded, it fits nicely in the hand. Um, I like it the mostly like this. Um, it feels the, the weight is nice. It feels it's a very high quality pen. It feels so awesome, and it seems silly to be talking about that, but it really does. It feels really nice in your hand. Um, but you can post the cap, it, for which I mean you screw it right here on the end just to store it. Now with this, um, this getting to write, I feel uh, it gets a, it, the, the balance is a little off just with this cap up here. Um, it's a handy way to store it. I love the idea that I can keep the cap up there while I'm writing and not uh, lose it and not have to have, hold something in my hand or whatever. Um, on the full-size pen, it just it, it makes this back part a little bit heavy. Um, again, you can support it with your hand, and it's probably just going to be an adjustment period of getting used to it, but, uh, but there is some weight back here. Um, and, but you know, holding it like this, it feels great. It, it, I mean, it, it just feels really, really nice. Um, and one of the things about it is, like I said, they have, it has a custom tension spring permanently affixed down here into the bottom of the tube. It comes with a G2 Pilot, um, or a Pilot G2, I guess, uh, ink cartridge in it. But you just unscrew this part of the tip right here. 
No, oh, they also offered a bead blasted black, and we'll, we'll, I'll show that that finish off in a minute. Um, but you unscrew this, and there is the Pilot G2 refill. I think this is a, a seven millimeter, point seven millimeter tip, which I, I prefer a finer tip, and you can swap that out. If I wanted a finer tip G2 refill, obviously, I can just plug it right in. But uh, here is the Pilot Precise uh, V5, and even though I can unscrew this here, I can take this out. This is a brand new one. See, it still has the uh, little wax on the tip there. Uh, but you, if you compare it to the regular Pilot V2, you can see uh, it's a very different, it's got a different screw on it, um, a slightly different length. Um, here's one that's already been used just to get a better idea of the tip. Very different tip on it as well from the, uh, it's got that very thin tip from the G2 refill. But again, it just you just slip it right in, pull on the, uh, screw this down, you can feel the resistance, you know, with that spring in the bottom once you get those threads right into the clip. But it doesn't come out the end, it sits there, also completely usable in this pen. So there's a couple of different pilot uh, refills. Pop that out. Say I want to use the Uniball Signo refill. Again, you, uh, try to, okay, you unscrew just the tip on this one. I can pull this out. And again, different uh, shape of refill. Similar on all of these. But again, another different shape of refill. Slightly different point on it. Um, again, goes right in. Screw on the tip. And that custom tension spring in the back perfectly holds it right up tight against the top. Just use it like a regular pen. So if you find a pen that you really, really like, you've got, you know, you can put it in the shell and have a fine pen that is totally unique in yours. And uh, you can just continue to use it. Uh, actually, I think I may put, go ahead and put this one in. In here, like I said, my, my, my only minor, and it's a minor complaint, uh, and it's not even really a complaint. My minor issue with this is just that I feel with the cap posted, it has like trying to write like this, this, this really kind of weighs your writing down. Uh, that's me, and again, uh, some adjustment period uh, will work with that, but if you take the cap off, it's a very, very nice pen, and I'm really, really happy with it. And again, you can also have it double as a stylus. It also comes with in the package underneath, once you pull this piece out with the pen. See a pen sleeve. Everyone comes with this nice little felt pen sleeve. So aside from the fact that they've got a very nice, uh, very strong, tough coating on this to keep it from chipping, they uh, included this felt pen sleeve with the big eye design uh, logo. I don't know if you can see that on there. Yeah, in, embossed into it. So you can just slide the pen right in there and store it. Throw it in your pocket and keep your pen protected. So very nice. Uh, one of the other things they offered about halfway through was the XTS titanium pen, which is, as you can see, a smaller version of the pen. And this is, like again, here's the, here's the regular pen, and here is the uh, XTS version of the pen. This is the bead blasted black. Um, now you can, if you want, the, the, the caps are, the, you know, the, the length is different, but all the other parts are the same size. If I wanted to have, if I wanted to put the black cap on the silver pen for a two-tone look, there you go. Uh, I could swap out these these pieces up here. I could swap out. I mean, if, the, you know, I could, if I want to put either one on either one, the stylus tip and the screw tip are the same. If I wanted to have a little accent down here, as well, um, the black one does also come. It comes in a very similar but smaller box as the uh, the, uh, the the previous one. It only works with uh, the only one listed on the back is the G2 mini refills, uh, five millimeter and seven millimeters. Um, but there, there are other there are other ways you can get different tips in there, um, and again, this one feel it's about the more of the size of your typical uh, jot stylus or uh, you know phone or stylus. So if you want to just have a little thing to just jot quick notes in a small notebook, um, or again on an iPhone or something, a nice little a little stylus to use on that, um, you can. Now unscrewing this when you post the cap on this pen, however, it makes it about the same size as the other pen without the cap. Uh, a little bit longer, as you can see. But again, fits very comfortably in the hand and really is just a joy to write with. I think I think I ordered both of them. Um, I think I may end up using the smaller pen as my go-to pen. And again, inside of it, 
is the G2, is the Pilot G2 mini refill, just right there. But if you want to, uh, as you saw that with the earlier uh, precise tip, once it reaches down past a certain point, like I would not want to take a full refill here. As you can see, the ink is already well past this cap uh, and cut it down. But you can, like this one right here, since the grease that keeps all the ink from spilling out is down past a certain point, I could very easily and probably will with a hobby knife or, or you know anything, pair of scissors, I mean, I'd want to use something sharper like a hobby knife to keep that smooth there. I could just cut this refill down and use this refill. I, mean, I could even probably stick this cap in the back if I wanted to. Uh, I could cut this refill down and use it in the smaller pen. So uh, also a bonus. Again, it's the hassle of cutting them down, and a lot of times you'd have to do it to make refills work within various other pens. But uh, in order to have that that pen style that I like, I can you know this is nice. I, I'll probably get the finer tip for uh, for the mini because I think again this is a seven millimeter tip here that included with the XTS pen, and I prefer a slightly finer tip than that. But um, but yeah, I, I, so when, like I can put. If I use the big pen, I can put the refills I like in there, and once they reach a certain point, I can transfer them into this pen so I have uh, the type of writing instrument I use in, in either one of these bodies. Very, very nice, very solid. Um, like I said, I'm a little just giddy just because this is my first Kickstarter reward, and they really are well done. They're really, really nice pens. You can get them from Big Idea Design. Totally worth the money. And again, if you look at the list of some of these... Uh, Refills, it takes a lot of your standard Bic Velocity, uh, uh, you know, Pentel pens, Pilot pens, a lot of Pilot pens here. Pilot Friction, G2, G2 Pro, G6s, the High Tech Cs, which are very popular apparently. Um, I haven't gotten any of those High Tech C refills yet. I was waiting on these to get here. Once these, I'm going to probably order a couple of those tonight because I hear those are really, really well and uh, highly regarded. A lot of the Uniball pens, you can get Waterman refills, uh, Zebra. Uh, the Dong A Fine Tech re uh, Retractable Pen, and you can ch and the website will fill you in on, on the uh, pen I, uh, as people find more refills that work with it. But right now it takes over th it, it accepts over thirty different refills, including some from like really expensive pens where the refills are not as expensive, but it, like like a Waterman pen, you or the Mont Blanc uh, pens. Those refills are really really nice. And uh, and the pens you usually find them in are very expensive. I mean, like, we're talking like a couple hundred dollar pens. And you can get those refills and use them right here in your XTS, which is, uh, again, maybe not in the mini so much, but just a really neat idea. So the fact that, like, you can never be caught without... You, you can keep your same pen and customize it to your particular style of writing and not, you know, load down your desk with a bunch of these or your trash can with a bunch of these plastic cases. So, yeah... Um, it almost kind of sounds like I'm making a commercial for it, and I guess I kind of am, because I'm really, really happy with this. I think they did an amazing job. Uh, it was Chadwick Parker and Joe Huang, I think. Maybe if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, guys. Uh, did this on Kickstarter through Big Eye Design, and uh, or Big Idea Design. They've got some other stuff they've done as well. If you want to check out their website, but there it is: the the titanium pen, the solid titanium pen and stylus, and the XTS titanium pen with stylus. Uh, Really glad I got in on this. Uh, the, the rewards finally started shipping, and they're here, and I'm very, very happy with them. So, yeah, uh, check them out because this really is all those refills and some really nice pens. I know that's a little odd for me here on the channel. Uh, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled toys and action figures soon, but I, I really I, I couldn't play with those and not mention them because they're really, really nice. So if you've ever wanted to have a really nice pen, uh, there you go. So yeah, thanks for watching.